Do you see that air fryer over there? We use it a lot. My husband uses it every morning for breakfast. There's toast and English muffins. We use it on the weekends when we reheat a slice of pizza or a, a slice of bread that we're going to put with a spaghetti dinner. We use it a lot. The bad thing is I don't like the color. It's just kind of like a black box. Yeah. Today, we're going to change that. Hi, I'm Cindy with Reinvented Delaware, and we love to repurpose and reinvent all sorts of home decor and furniture, and sometimes we do crazy things with appliances. That's what we're doing today. Let's get started. We're really enjoying our kitchen. We just freshly painted the kitchen cabinets. They're solid oak. I've painted them before, and then just a few weeks ago, I painted them again using Dixie Bell's silk all-in-one mineral paint called salt water. We're really loving the color. The bad thing is that it makes the air fryer even darker in some ways. It seems even darker than it was before. So we're going to change that today. After giving the air fryer a good vacuuming with the shop vac, I gathered my supplies. I'll be using Dixie Bell's Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint in the color Endless Shore, and also Dixie Bell's Slick Stick. I wanted to give the air fryer a good cleaning, so I used a solution of Dixie Bell's White Lightning. It's a dry TSP cleaner that you add water to, pour it in a spray bottle, grab a microfiber cloth and wipe the piece down. It is a wonderful cleaner. Slick stick is made to stick to any shiny surface, but I always go the extra mile. So I used a worn out sanding sponge and went over the whole piece, just scuffing up the surface a little bit. And actually it didn't scuff it enough for my taste. So I also grabbed Surf Prep's rad pads in the super fine grit and I went over the whole piece all over again. I just, I love these rad pads. They're easy on your hands because they're flexible. The curve of the sponge that it's on goes around the curves of the air fryer perfectly. I used frog tape to mask off the areas that I did not want any paint to get on. That included the little menu bar at the top there that you see. It included the silver part on the handle and then it also included the clear glass door on the front. I'm also using an X-Acto knife to cut around the tape to make it go around that curve just perfectly. Now it's time to apply the first coat of slick stick. I'm being very careful that I don't have runs on the inside of the door. You can see that I opened the door just to double check and I'm going underneath the curve of the air fryer. Not completely. You're not going to see the bottom, so I'm not too worried about that. I was careful with my brush strokes that I kept them uniform. I paid attention to any runs or glops of uh, the slick stick that might be created. Slick stick is just that. It will stick to anything that is slick, like glass or formica or laminate tops on furniture or plastic like this air fryer. The air fryer was shiny to begin with. I scuffed it up like you saw, and now I'm applying the first coat of slick stick to the air fryer. I'll let this dry completely for at least two hours. Then I will apply, then I'll sand between coats. Excuse me, I sanded between each coat. 
So I will sand between coats. When the first coat is dry, I'll apply another coat and I'll allow it to dry overnight. It's very impor important to let this second coat cure for a few hours before you apply the paint. Let's talk about how I clean my paintbrushes. The first step that I take is to rinse it as thoroughly as I, as I possibly can. And then I use the scrubby soap to clean the, any leftover residue of the paint. This is a wonderful soap. It's easy on your hands. It's all natural. The scent is wonderful. I have the orange scent. Then I just rub it right onto the scrubby pad. It suds up a little bit and then I wrap it up in a paper towel to dry. I even use this soap to clean off all the paint on my hands. I'll mention it again, I sanded between coats with the rad pad in the super fine grit just to make a nice smooth surface. Then I took a microfiber cloth and I wiped off what little bit of dust there was. I forgot to mention that I also painted the cord on the air fryer. It was black and it was going to show up quite a bit and I didn't want that so I painted it with slick stick. Now I'm getting ready to apply the first coat of Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint in the color Endless Shore, and it happens to match my ironstone perfectly. I have a lot of ironstone, so this is going to just blend right in with all the other colors that I have in our light-colored kitchen. You can see the difference already. The Slick Stick is white, and this Endless Shore is just a softer white. It's really a lovely color. I'll apply two coats, and I'll sand between each coat. When you're painting, make sure that you smooth it out really nicely so you don't have any lines. And then when you're going around the vent, see there on the back, use a dry brush technique so that you get just a very light bit of color going over top and no paint that would go inside the vent. You'll see also I painted the cord. It looks so much better. When you go around the top, on my air fryer, there's a little vent in the back. Again, I used a dry brush technique to go around that area so that paint would not run on the inside that I missed. I just got my brush barely wet, mostly dry, and it worked out perfectly. I wanted to neaten up the inside edges of the air fryer, so I used my super fine uh, grit sanding pad and scuffed off the edges of the paint, and I also used the blade on my X-Acto knife to scrape off the paint. Now, too bad I didn't figure this out ahead of time, but that door comes off of the air fryer. That would have made the whole painting process much easier. Anyway, I took it off and cleaned off all of the edges and put the door back on. So there it is, what do you think? It looks so much lighter and brighter in that corner, don't you think? I'm loving this color. It matches my Ironstone Sugar Bowl there just perfectly, I love it. The cords are hidden a little bit because they're the same color. They blend in much better than black cords. We've been using this every day for a month 
and it's really holding up well, no problems at all. The outside of this air fryer does not get hot, so that wasn't an issue about the, the paint peeling off because of the heat. I've got all the products listed below in the description, and if you would like to paint your air fryer, I would sure love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this tutorial, could you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel? I'd love it if you joined our journey here at Reinvented Delaware. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.